Live from the Fox 5 studios in Atlanta, you're watching Good Day Extra. Well, good morning and welcome to Good Day Extra. I'm Jeff Hill. And I'm Suchita Badlamani. And for Karen Graham, we've got a fantastic show today. So let's kick things off with a man who knows his way around the kitchen. Yes, he does. His knack for culinary perfection earned him national fame on <laughs> Top Chef. There he is. Atlanta's own head chef, Kevin Gillespie, is giving us a taste of <laughs> one dinner you will never forget. And we mentioned earlier he's, his beard had its own fan page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's pretty but, hard but, to do. But, but he does, as you see, he doesn't have the beard anymore. Yeah, He's well, doing what is it called? Must we're, we're having mustache mayhem at Woodfire Grill <laughs> mustache growing contest. Oh, Good nice. Good old-fashioned manly mustache growing contest. Very nice. Are, are you still going to grow yours out? Maybe do handlebars or something? I'm going for more the uh, the Wyatt Earp style. Ooh, so. okay. Yeah. I can there dig you that. Go. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. So he's going to whip up something delicious All for us. Can't wait always for that. Does. It's one of the city's most highly anticipated foodie fundraisers, bringing together our favorite chefs for an evening of friendly competition and amazing culinary creations. Kevin Gillespie is representing his restaurant, Woodfire Grill, tonight at the Liver Foundation's Flavor of Atlanta dinner and uh, Kevin what a great uh, how great it is to see you again thank you good and, to see you and what a great event I might add um, this year's theme is the big top yeah it's a circus of flavor circus of flavor every year you guys do something different right and every year the chefs really bring their A game. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> this is a really fun event for us. It's a, it's a great thing to do. This is our 12th year doing it, so mm -hmm. it's going to be a lot of fun. As you can see, um, our Circus of Flavor theme here. I'm the strong man, obviously. And so, <laughs> yeah, we're going to try and, and just kick it up this evening and have a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's all to benefit the Liver Foundation, Absolutely. which is a great organization. It's doing such uh, amazing work over the past years, and this really is one of the, um, the biggest events to raise money. Yeah, it is. And um, awareness. Yeah, all the proceeds go to the Liver Foundation. It's basically 25 little dinner parties going on yeah. at the same time. We're each cooking for 10 guests, and so it's really intimate. It's like coming to my restaurant, except I'm sort of bringing it to you. Exactly. So each chef um, decorates his table or her right. table, um, has a, his or her own menu. Yep. So what's interesting is I've, I've had the good fortune of attending the event in years past, and it's neat to walk around and see what all the different chefs are doing, which table is the most extravagant. And, and like I said, every year there's this one-upmanship. Yeah, exactly. Because you, know, you, you see what other chefs do, and you're like, oh, wait a minute, uh-uh, this year I'm going to bring it. Right. Yeah, so what are you preparing? What's right. on the menu for, for your table this so evening? So this is one of my first courses here, and I'm going to have you kind of put this together sure. for me. What we're doing is a, uh, a spice poached shrimp, which I have right here, with compressed mm -hmm. vegetables. So I brought these so you could kind of see them. Compressing is, is not really cooking so much as altering the texture of something. And so mm -hmm. what I have here is actually rhubarb. This is raw this. rhubarb that's been yeah. put in a vacuum chamber and had all the oxygen taken out, and so it crushes it and intensifies the flavor. And that's how we get these really bright colors and really intense flavors here. So it's raw vegetables, holds all the same nutrient value, but it just intensifies the flavors tremendously. How, but it looks so juicy still. It's like it has all yeah, this liquid in exactly. it. Exactly. That's its own natural liquid that preserves it. So it oh, picks wow. up that, that really intense flavor. So Wonderful. I brought you these fancy plating tongs okay. just so you can act like a, a professional oh, chef here. Nice, so nice. we're going to take some of each of these little vegetables and kind of stack them in the middle here. Be really tight or I'm going to yell at you about the plate <laughs> looking sloppy. So. Okay. Is this right, a good There we amount? go. There we go. Yep. Little. There you go. All right. Now. Now put the uh, put your cantaloupe in there. So this is cucumber that we cucumber? just did. This had a little lemon oh. juice and salt on it. This has a real summery feel. This dish doesn't. Exactly. It? I'm trying to do something a little lighter for so my first dish. Do you kind of want to like put them next to each other? Yeah, put them next to each other because they're going to hold the the shrimp. We're going to okay. set the shrimp on top of them. Let's so this is cook. cantaloupe with just a little sugar and some mint on it. As you can see, okay. it takes on this really intense orange color. Yeah. And then raw rhubarb with espelette pepper. Espelette is Ooh. like a spicy kind of French pepper. It's, it's red? really nice. Yeah, and it takes on this red hue after it's been compressed. Wow, that sounds like it has a neat flavor. Yeah, it's really good, and it has um, you know the rhubarb has sort of a pickly quality to it on its own. It has a nice acidity, so you have sour rhubarb. and sweet and savory all mixed together here at the same time. Okay. And then you have your little spice poached shrimp. They have a little bit of uh, sweet herbs, some tarragon and chives on them. So mm -hmm. maybe set three or four of those on top. You know, you tell me, how many of them do you want to eat? I want to eat all of them. Okay, Let's well then we can put all of them on top there. Just keep loading <laughs> it up, okay. loading it up. All right. So, so right on top of there, and then mm -hmm. I have a couple other components. We have a little a broth here that we made um, with cucumbers and melon Ooh. and shrimp, the shells from Wonderful. the shrimp. Wonderful, okay. It's going to kind of provide us just a little bit of liquid here that this will all sit in. Mm -hmm. And wow. then 
Isn't we'll that beautiful? Look a at that. little bit of olive oil here, just for that extra flavor. How did I do with the tightness? Drizzles. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Would yep. this would this uh, would this leave your kitchen looking like this? Oh, of course not. No way. <laughs> no way. Okay, I didn't like, say don't was, get carried away. I didn't say it was that good. We're not we're not calling you up to offer you a job just yet. And a little bit of micro shiso that has kind of a basilly mint flavor to it. So oh. this is a, just a, a cold, nice dish. This will be an intro for us, and then we'll do some some bigger, heavier, bolder foods behind that. I was gonna bring the pig's head, but I knew you probably didn't want to eat that. Thank so you. I appreciate it. You're that. welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Absolutely. Kevin, it was so much fun catching up with Thank you. you so Have much. a blast tonight. Oh, it's going to be fun. This is the best one. I think all the chefs enjoy doing this more than any of the other events. And, and I'm saying that because we have such a great time. Yeah, there. there's such a feeling of camaraderie there. Exactly. At the big top. Okay. It's a what is it? The Circus of Flavors? Circus of Flavors. Circusofflavor.com. Circus we still have tickets available. Yeah. Please go online and check it out. You will not regret it. This is one of the best events in town. Thanks again, Kevin. Thank it's, it'll be a circus tonight at the 12th Annual Flavors of Atlanta. It's at the Foundry at Puritan Mill and starts at 6 and benefits the American Liver Foundation. For more information, log on to myfoxatlanta.com and we will have a link for you.